boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the red and white shorts. He was on the scales officially at 10 stone, two pounds. Eight career entries, including five going inside the scheduled distance. He now boxes out of Menden, Germany, via way of his native Kazakhstan. Introducing Andreas Maya. And across the ring, wearing white to trim with black and boxing out of the red corner. He scaled at the weigh-in. 10 stone, one pound even. 13 career victories, including four finishing inside the scheduled distance. He stands at the ring this evening as a former Midlands area welterweight champion and boxes out of Birmingham, England. Introducing Casey Benjamin. <laughs> Referee Sean Messer with his final instructions. All right, guys, give me a good fight, keep it clean. When I say break, stop punching and step back. Obey me at all times and protect yourself at all times, understood? Touch gloves. For the first round. Well, the plan going forward for Casey Benjamin is to campaign at super lightweight. They feel that he's going to be more powerful, more dangerous, and this made it 10 stone two as he moves towards that against Andreas Meyer, who's been out since December 2019. That was a, a useful amateur and is eight and four as a pro, not always as busy as he would like, but he'll be a test for Benjamin, who's done great work to the body this year. Stopped Martin Harkin after struggling against him initially. And then the Finn Jarko Putkinen last time with a terrific body shot here in the third. Good prospect, Benjamin. He's a bit more than a prospect now, but tricky fighter, Richie, isn't he? All right, all right, uh, Benjamin, Dave. He's, he's very quick, uh, quick reactions. And he's done very well because he's been campaigning at welter. I mean, he's, he's in the, the, the UK box rec ratings at number nine as a welterweight. And really, he's only a light welter or super lightweight, as they call it these days. But he's done well at welter because of his speed and his reactions. So, yes, he's got to... Um, um, obviously get a bit more experience but he's doing really well 13 one on one at the moment uh, and that's mainly in that welterweight division so yes a big future for him i think it's super lightweight and one to watch out for most definitely and he's at the east side gym stable mate of sam eggington there jim in great spirits after corey gibbs won boxer in liverpool seven days ago john pegg and his team do terrific work Benjamin looked to the body there again significantly. Keeping that right hand of his nice and high as well. It's important. Maya is, is fairly strong. And Benjamin's working well with the jab. But yeah, like you said, Dave, he switches well with that left up to the body also. But like I say, he's quick off the mark, fast reactions, speed is a key element to his success. And he, he's, he's got it in abundance as... Uh, Benjamin. Maya looking for that right hand over the top. Good sharp jab there from Benjamin. Little right hook as well. Used his feet well to get into range there. He's come to fight though, Maya. Yeah, fairly strong kid, Maya. And um he may have some su success if he just gets closer with that right hand of his. See, that was an example. He's just a little bit, little bit too far out. He misses the target two or three times there. So he's got to edge forward as Mayo behind his jab and then get the feet into range and then launch that right hand. Because if you look at the way Benjamin's boxing, very low lead hand. So he may be open to a right hand counter. Oh, wasn't too far away there. <laughs> right on cue. work from Benjamin in this round quick off the mark Meyer again with that, that right hand counter that we spoke about so it was a decent round for, for both boxes but I thought Benjamin did the better work and uh, for me he's taken that opener 
nach dem rechten Haken, äh, nach dem linken Haken fällt er ab und zu. Das ist deine Chance. Versuch noch nicht so viel. Right right yeah? Und watch that defense come in a little bit too high, so sometimes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? Don't let him get away from the jump. Yeah? 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 A good start for Casey Benjamin. Andreas Meyer boxed for most of his career at lightweight. January 2017 in Preston, he had a 42-second win against Atif Shafiq, who was an Ingalls-trained prospect who was 16 and one at the time. He upset the apple cart a bit there, Meyer, and he did that with a right hand. And you can see he's been looking for that here. He threw out a jab there. Benjamin needs to be careful with that. That low left hand. Sometimes, though, that's the, the trap that he sets, Benjamin. He keeps that lead hand very low and wants the opponent to try to trigger the opponent off with the, his with his right hand. And then he can bring him onto a counter. So, like I've said, sometimes it's a, it's a trap that he sets to lower that lead hand to try and draw the right hand of his opponent, Benjamin. And that's when he has to rely on those fast reflexes. Look at that uppercut as well, Benjamin. Trying to apply the pressure though, isn't he, Andreas Meyer? He was quarter finalist in the German Championship as an amateur 15 years ago. He's 37 now, only turned pro at 31. Not too many miles on the clock, really. Just made a mistake earlier, Dave, there, did Meyer. Just threw a slow jab and gets caught with a very fast right-hand counter. The problem that Meyer's got is, is his feet are a little bit too slow, so he knows what he should be doing. He's got to get up closer to, to Benjamin. But when he's doing that from long distance, from range, then his feet are moving too slow, and that's allowing Benjamin to catch him as he's coming forward. Got to be quicker with the feet, as Meyer. Benjamin's very quick with the feet. Does have a defeat on his record. That was in Ultimate Boxer against Sam Evans. Over three would not suit Benjamin at all, and it proved he was outworked. Good work from Benjamin here. He's actually on the attack now, but. But that was set up through some lovely counters that he threw, Benjamin. Again, Meyer's work a little bit too slow. Benjamin responds with some fast counters and then carries that on and, and then turns it into an attack. Good work from Benjamin. Yeah, just a sense that Benjamin is starting to take control. Still needs to be careful, but he's starting to work up the pace here. And the question is, can Meyer stay with him? Yeah, just got to settle down. He's loading up a little bit too much occasionally, Benjamin. Just telegraphing the punches with that right hand, so still going to keep that jab going, but a good round. Lovely work, I thought, from Benjamin here. There's that slow jab that I spoke about earlier from Meyer, and he gets punished with a lovely right hand counter. Peach of a punch, that's textbook stuff that is from Benjamin. Then he carries the attack on, switches the attack from body to head, and that's a super left hook. And Meyer just gets caught there. Just moving away from Benjamin, gets cool with that left hook. Oh, and the jab. Put him in position with the jab. Yeah. And then when you get in position, little angle, little angle, and work the body. Yeah. Yeah? Deep breath. Keep that head movement up, because he's still coming back with the odd few shots. Yeah. You understand? You have to be wary. Keep that head movement up. And when you're making miss, make him pay a few times he's back down, you can bring the uppercut up. Yeah? yeah. Little angle as well, okay? So after you shoot, go for your effort one. Keep it up, though. Keep it up. So round three, here in Coventry, Casey Benjamin and the, the man they call the maestro, Andreas Meyer. German who'd lost four of his previous five before this. Stopped in the fifth against Hedy Slimani. He's got a, a decent record in his last outing, but as I said, that was a couple of years ago. 
Benjamin there just made a, a, a rare mistake there Dave just gets caught with that right hand a couple of good right hands now going in for Meyer Benjamin is not so accurate with his jab at the start of the round and probably got a little bit complacent that's a bit better but the, the jab earlier on was not so accurate missed the target and allowed Meyer to come back with a couple of good right hand counters that was good stuff from Meyer Likes to slow opponents down, Benjamin, do it gradually. Given the success he's had with body punches this calendar year, I'm surprised he hasn't looked a little bit more to the body so far. He's been loading up on headshots a bit. A couple of decent body shots, don't get me wrong, but not been attacking it as much as you might have expected. Pace is suiting Benjamin down to the ground here now, just dictating the tempo and pace of the contest just boxing from the outside and he is a for me he's an out and out counter puncher look at that for a right hand there as Meyer trying to throw the left and, and basically counter punches they like a slower pace or most of them do anyway so they can see the attacks coming they can read the situation and they obviously respond to the attack from the opponent and, and counter and that's what uh, Benjamin's doing here Yeah, he's a puzzle to solve, Benjamin. And Maya is just struggling with that. Another chopping right hand. There was a left to the body from Benjamin. Yeah, good shot that was. And Maya, you could see that he felt that one. So maybe he should concentrate more on those body shots, like you said, Dave. Good accuracy with that jab as well. Just single jabs from Casey Benjamin. Body and head that time, mixed it up well, and then terrific speed again from Benjamin, finished with that chopping right hand, that missed with the left hook, great action from Benjamin towards the end of this third round. Blistering hand speed there from Benjamin, at the end of that round, terrific right hand counter there from Benjamin, and then towards the end of the round he just went through the gears, Really quick shots, left hook to the body. And there's some good left hooks also to the head, but here just steps on the gas, goes through the gears, three, four, five punches going in. Great end to the round for Benjamin, growing in confidence. That's everything that's in behind the jab, though. Yeah, don't just yeah. walk in. Yeah, don't just walk in, has to be behind a jab. Yeah. Head movement behind a jab, put him in position. Yeah. 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 Another thing I really noticed in the development of Casey Benjamin, he always accused of being a bit too chilled out and taking things too easily, but to me, he's really concentrated on his work. He's turning into an entertainer, actually. He's great to watch. I agree, Dave. I think he is um, an entertainer. And uh, the crowd and the boxing fans will appreciate the skills and the speed. And look at this now again. Switching attack from head to body. He keeps his opponent occupied with the head shots. And then a left up to the body goes in. Now he's turned to southpaw. So, yeah, the, the kid's growing in confidence. This is where Meyer's got to work more, Dave. Here, that, 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 those are the opportunities that he's got on the inside that he should do a little bit more work and let his hands go a little bit more. At, at distance, he's just been totally outboxed. Maybe the old Casey Benjamin would have been happy to outbox his opponent, but that touch of entertainment comes because I think he's looking to stop opponents now. Bit of venom in the punches, and that, of course, is going to increase that's super lightweight because he will carry a bit more power. And a touch of venom and a touch of nastiness about his work, Dave, as Benjamin. And that's good to see with a, 
a prospect and there's nothing coming back to that touch of nastiness in his work. Bit of grazing around the right cheek of Benjamin, he's taken a few to land. Just trying a little bit too hard there, especially with the right hand. Again, he's got to get back on the jab and set that right hand up. Just occasionally, see, that's better. See, now you're just measuring the distance and gap behind the jab, and then that's when you can set up the more power shot with the right hand. Yeah, because for all the flashy work, as you'll be the first to say, Richie, the most important punch in boxing is that jab. Yeah, absolutely. Right hand there from Meyer was a useful shot. Benjamin starting to enjoy himself, though. Fair play to Meyer. I mean, he's dogged and determined, isn't he? And again, the quality of his punching isn't as good as um, Benjamin. Benjamin's punches are sharp, crisp, they're powerful, and those are big body shots, stay there. Yeah, the body shot hurt him, but Meyer sucks it up. There's another one from Benjamin. Just feels, I think, that he's breaking his man down, and he was looking for that finish to the body there. Another excellent round, this from Benjamin. Great round of boxing from Benjamin. And Meyer certainly played his part at the end of the round. He came back into it a little bit, but here, Benjamin keeps Meyer on the ropes. Meyer responds with a couple of shots. That wasn't too bad. But Benjamin was trying to plant his feet and hurt his opponent to the body. But Meyer recovered. He's a tough kid. So it was an entertaining round, but the speed from Benjamin, yeah, A1. Put him in position with the jab and offense. As soon as you put him in position, you're hesitating a touch, and it's too many singles sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You'll catch him with a good Second single, bite. then you'll stand off a touch. Yeah. Catch him with the good single, and then press him again. Yeah? And keep, keep, him, keep invested in that body, yeah? He's feeling the pace now, yeah? So just turn it up again. Round this. Five. Turn it up again, yeah? Four moves, ten seconds. So Casey Benjamin maybe trying to crank up the pressure and try and find a way to get Andreas Meyer out of there. Lost in the fifth the last time he was in a boxing ring, Meyer. Benjamin hurt him with that body shot at the end of the fourth. Mixing up the levels cleverly here, which I think increases the impact those body shots have. Element of surprise about them with the hand speed. Well, the corner complained that there was too many single shots, but um, I think the jab's working well in this round up to now. But yeah, I probably agree with the corner in that, you know, once you've landed a few uh, those, those single shots and you've measured that gap nice and uh, you're ready then to go through the gears, that's when you've got to put threes and fours together maybe. See, this is singles, that's better, switching the attack. But it needs to keep it going. Like I say, two threes and fours, and this fella may just come undone. See Meyer wincing in pain there. Body set up the hands, another Casey Benjamin body shot. It's a combination to the body from Benjamin. And Meyer is getting slowly to his feet. Tremendous work there, Dave. There's a right hand and a little left hook to the body that went in that probably did the damage. The last shot, the fair play to Meyer. He's still in there. He still won't have recovered from that, and Benjamin knows it. Benjamin goes to the body and then to the head with the right hand. Great work to the body again, and it's over. And Casey Benjamin with more devastating work to the body finds the finish. What a year he's having. What a performance that was. Increased power, increased levels of entertainment. He is a man to watch, particularly as he drops down in weight. That's a superb performance, probably the best I've seen. Casey Benjamin there, really put his shots together well to the body. Big, big punches. There was the left hook that I spoke about. There was a little right hand and a left hook that, that did the damage initially. 
That was a superb shot, and he knew his opponent wasn't recovered. Switches the attack, then goes to the head, keeps him on the rope, but then whips in another body shot there. And again, the right hand, another left hand, and that was it. Sean Messer, the referee, had seen enough, but so it was a good work. He switches there to the, to, to the head now with that right hand. That was a belting shot. And then he goes back downstairs. Two or three shots. The right hand especially did the damage. Referee uh, jumps in. That was a terrific stoppage. And yes, like you said, Dave, Casey Benjamin at super lightweight. He's going to be a force. Yeah, they say there are traces of Lomachenko in his boxing. And those comparisons are easy to make, but... Performances like that without getting carried away before you write in, you can see what people mean at least. But what you've got to be impressed there with Benjamin is the speed. His speed is superb, his reactions are very good. He's got a lot to learn, he's still, he's still really a novice, but you know, he's, he's doing really, really well. And at super well, sorry, super lightweight, he'll be brilliant. Well, let's make it official with RMC Paul Booth. Boxing fans, the official end of this contest falls at 1 minute 39 seconds of round number 5. Referee Sean Messer has stopped the bout in his professional opinion. Andreas Meyer is in no position to continue. The winner from Birmingham, Casey Benjamin.